There's a business concept that I came across because of Mr. Alex Ramosi, something that I have embraced significantly in my life as I am someone that values emotional intelligence, values the integrity of having trust and perspective in relationships to eventually have a more beautiful, more satisfying, a larger vision of life. So the concept essentially is that we give, we give, we give, we give, and we keep giving until the thing that we're giving to, the people that we're giving to say to us, what can we give you back? Why is this concept so important in business? Well, the first thing is if, if someone comes to you and says something incredibly kind to you one time and you never see them again, fine. And that person, the next time they come to you, they say something kind to you a second time. The chances of you thinking good thoughts about that person are very, very high. And that is the first thing in business. If we don't realize that it's a human relationship that we're trying to strive for, it's a human feeling that we are trying to get out of these relationships. And at the end of the day, that trust is actually the thing that allows us to make more money, to have better contacts. If we don't realize these things, we're gonna lose the essence of why business and capitalism to a degree are a part very much of the human and natural world. Give and take, symbiosis, commensalism, all of these things require an amount of value, value in life, right? We need to have things in our life. We need to be consistently aware of the things that we have to offer people. The feelings that we can offer people, the skills, the knowledge that we can offer people. And a lot of us think to ourselves that we know stuff. We know a lot of stuff and that we're very valuable and that we, uh, we're, we're worth a lot. Sure, a lot of us think these things is good thoughts, sure. But the people that I'm talking about, the a lot of people that will consciously go out of their way to say, wow, how valuable am I? Are often the people that are not all that valuable, in my opinion, are often the people that are not looking out to improve what they can do in life to actually offer that human, that emotional energy to people. It's not enough just to talk. It's not enough just to have idle thoughts of the world. It's not enough to just philosophize in circles and have paradoxical conclusions. Sure, sure, these things are a really great start because they actually put the world into perspective. Gary Vee was saying that we often want to get here in life from here. But the answer is actually somewhere in the middle. And that is a human sensation. That is a human desire to push past what we are at currently and to go and excel to this to this far away place. And the reality is we only have to move so far to get what we want. Why it's important to have a philosophy of a far away place is because chances are, if we're getting to this far away place, we at least might make it halfway, which is where we need to get anyway. And that's kind of what I'm saying about this value thing. That's kind of what I'm saying about giving and giving and giving because in giving because in providing genuine human emotion genuine skill genuine assets to people we grow better we grow more valuable we get hopefully better at communicating we get hopefully more knowledgeable in our field all things that are going to eventually lead to a more valuable individual and thus increase our ability to make profit and to get the freedom that we want in our life. And so this, I hope you internalize with all of your relationships, because even if you're not getting money out of someone, even if you're not getting all of these uh, material gains out of your relationships, and that's not what you're gunning for, first of all, awesome, kind of. Money is not evil. Money is... Uh, a means to buy time, essentially. And if you want time in your life, then you have to get money. That's, that's, how, that's how it works so far. And that's why I'm doing this stuff. 
But even in normal, just very mundane relationships of love and consistency and tribes, this sense of actually building ourselves, building our value for the people that we spend our time with, I think is really noble at the end of the day. And I think it's something that will keep us evolving as people, making our, our own lives interesting. So what is an example of something that I've done in my life where giving, giving, giving has actually brought me to a better understanding and actually elevated my ability to communicate or my, my network? So currently, the people that did this hair transplant on me, I'll be posting a video a long time from now because I want to have a six month thing going on. But basically I said to them, listen, I have a YouTube channel. I'm a, I'm okay personality for the most part. I enjoy laughing. I have some things to say and I uh, have some candor about me. Please allow me to record some videos of our, of our interaction. Let me, let, let, let me, let me put my two cents together as is one of your patients. And on top of that, I have a tendency to pick and prod at situations because I tend to see answers to problems that people don't even see. And what I told them was about the pain management of their program. What I told them was about new business opportunities that they might have in the market. What I told them about is how they can improve on the very beautiful thing that they have going on. And I did this for free, obviously. I, I consulted, and obviously I also don't have any long-term consulting experience, but I know that one of my valuable skills in life is to be able to see complex problems and simplify them and provide solutions to them. Part of the reason I made Torabify, hopefully, is because people have called me intuitive in my life. My father was also a very intuitive person. I think it's a genetic thing. But I say this because after all of this, after having a chat with them, there was, there was this little box that they gave me uh, that usually costs about $800. Not much, not much. They, I said, hey, give it to me for free. I will have a beautiful head of hair and I will be your advertiser. And at first the guy said, no, or let me go and talk to the CEO, sure. But after a while, after I sat down with the CEO and after we chatted, she said, I'll give it to you as a gift. And so, sure, there was a bit of that ask, but had I not had a smile on, a good attitude, had I not gone out of my way to show with my YouTube channel, my aspirations in life, to, to robify their life, had I not done that, then the chances of me, first of all, even meeting the CEO, which is which was an incredibly amazing experience because I got to see how companies get started. I got to ask some questions about soul and emotional intelligence to someone that I determined is powerful in life. But I also got this free kit that's gonna eventually make this look a little nicer. What does it matter? Small, small example. I'm sure I could come up with another couple in my head, I'd have to think about it a little longer. But this kind of philosophy of giving, this philosophy of trying, really genuinely trying to improve the world and improve people's business and improve just anything, anything, and having a conscious effort towards it leads to better outcomes in life. Because if we just keep taking if we just keep taking or just observing, we're not really contributing. And I don't believe that's something that we can afford to do as a species, as a species. We can't really afford to do that because at this point we're kind of stewards of this planet, right? We have, we have responsibility, whether or not we, whether or not many of us choose to acknowledge the responsibility, it's there. We have these beautiful brains. We have these beautiful souls. And so many of us don't use them in service. So many of us don't use them to expand the realities of other living beings, of 
improving the realities of other living beings. I think it's very, very sad that many of us don't do that. And that's why I made this. That's why I do everything that I do. This emotional intelligence journey, this journey of improving as an individual, of being, of becoming more valuable, of being worth potentially a billion dollars. You know, what does that mean? What does it all mean? This is what it means. Serve. Serve the planet. And if you're looking for more information, you know how it is right here. If you made it to the end of the video, smash that like button, throw me a subscribe, throw me a comment. Have I inspired you? So my viewers, what I'm doing now is I'm calling you all catalysts. It's, um, it's my way of telling you that you have incredible potential and that you have the ability of changing things around you. So actualize your potential catalyst. This world needs you. Take care.